So the task is to create a sequence. The sequence starts with a term 0 0.4. Thereafter, it is supposed to increase by 0 0.2 every time. So this is called the first term. We can call it T1 or the first term. And the next one should be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2. So this will give us 0 0.6. So the pattern continues. To get the next one, you need to add 0 0.2 to the 0 0.6, which will give us 0 0.8. Okay. So the problem that the children have can be seen when we write the, the, their solution down, which was 0 0.4, the first term, 0 0.6, the, the second term, 0 0.8, the third term. Their fourth term was 0 0.10, and their fifth term was 0 0.12. Their idea is that they are basically adding two to these numbers here. Like here, when they add two to four, you get 0 0.6, or something which we can say it looks like 0 0.6. And then similarly, when they get there, but their problem is revealed when they be, when they add two to ten, to to eight to get ten, and they put the ten on the right hand side of the decimal point. This is confirmed when they add two to 10 to get 12. So the interpretation is that they are missing the meaning of the dot point, of the decimal point, what it means. And that maybe according to them, this is, you read this as 0 0.10, and this one, they read it as 0 0.12, which is actually wrong, because this is actually 0 0.10, and this is 0 0.12, okay? So what they have been doing is, when they get to 0 0.8, is to take 0 0.8 and add 0 0.2, like this, and then they will, should add eight and two, and they will put down, just like they do when they're doing units, tens, hundreds, like this, and then they should carry one and keep the decimal point there and put a one there. So, so we go through the exercise, and I think that it is important for every child to work with the pencil and paper so that they manually go through the process of increasing one at a time, similar to the way we were, look, we were adding the 20 centimeters every time. So on the, on, in creating a bar, a bar chart or bar graph, uh, can we pause? So following the like pencil and paper exercise of drawing a bar graph, this is also an opportunity to enhance their IT skills by applying or implementing the same sequence in, in a spreadsheet. And, and this gives also an opportunity to look at the results of a bar graph if we use the results that the children got, which